Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently 10 to 10 on Monday the 4th of April. Um, I have coming soon, I have, what do I have coming soon? I have um, uh, the people coming around tomorrow to sort my windows. Um, so I'm getting some windows replaced because they're, they're blown basically. So it's to get rid of the grime and the condensation within them. So I've got uh, people coming to do that tomorrow. I've got my cleaner coming as well. Um, that's pretty much the highlight of this week. And then next Monday I'm getting a root canal, so that's gonna be no fun. I'm currently reading Sandworms of June by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. So this is book number eight in the original June series. And yes, I am enjoying it. And um, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll update you on that later on. That's all I got for you, really. Because um, I've only just finished my last vlog. So, yeah. Dane reads. Greetings, I am fucking tired mate. It's uh, 5 to 2 on what's that? Tuesday the 5th of April. Uh, I was supposed to have a call earlier today but that got rescheduled because I have a very busy day and I, I told the client I had a busy day but I'd fit her in and she was like oh it's no, no bother we'll do it t tomorrow instead. Um, so that means I do have three calls tomorrow but at least I'll have had some sleep. Uh, I went to bed at like 3 a.m. And then got up at eight because I had a man come round about half eight to do new windows. So look, you probably don't remember my old windows, but they were covered in grime and shite and horribleness, so you couldn't see out of them. So now I have new windows. Um, because the plumbing's fucked, I've got somebody coming to look at that in a little bit. Well, they said there'd be two to three hours, and that was at nine a.m. And now it's not nine eight. Not well, it's gone. Yeah, they should have been here two hours ago, but uh, I got my cleaner coming this afternoon as well. So I'm hoping that this person comes out and fixes me plumbing. Um, and then my cleaner can clean up any mess that's left behind, I guess. We'll see. Um, I'm doing some other bits. I've been working on this PowerPoint presentation for, a cl for the same client, actually. Uh, so the introduction to social media marketing for non-fiction authors. So I want to finish the, pre basically I've got to hand it in on Thursday, so I want to finish making the presentation today, film it tomorrow, and then edit it by Thursday, that's the goal. Uh, radio show's going out later, we've got a guest on called Rob Full Stop, who's a musician, uh, that's all done, all uploaded. I'm still reading Sandworms of June by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson, I'm about halfway through now, it's pretty good. Uh, the one before it was probably better actually, but it's, it's still interesting. And we've got these goalers of all of the main characters coming, coming like regaining their memories and stuff. So that's adding like a nice, interesting element to it. Uh, Listen to some more Catch Twenty Two yesterday. I read some more of my Stephen Fry book. That's my bedtime book. Postman hasn't been today. Don't know why. What else? Oh, I've got somebody coming to look at the boiler next Wednesday as well, like a week tomorrow, because it's making these weird, angry banging noises. Um, so I need to see if they can sort that out. But I'm covered under warranty for that, so I don't have to pay for it. And then I've got my root canal on Monday as well. So it's gonna be an expensive few days. I mean, today I've already spent, well, the windows were about 530 pounds, which is what, 650, $700. But I put down half as a deposit, so I'd already done that. So I've paid the remainder of that. I've gotta pay the plumber later. I've gotta pay the cleaner. I've gotta pay about 500 quid for my root canal next week. But then after that, the only other thing is to get the fences fixed. I'll give you a sneak preview of the garden because it's looking nice and you can see it from the window now. Here we go. Oh, it's my alarm. I'm awake. Yeah, so there's my garden. And now you can see the fences that are blown down. But we're going to re replace the whole lot, basically. So those two fences that are already painted, I'm going to have to repaint them. But it is what it is. And uh, yeah, I'm just, you know, doing my thing. Uh, I don't think I've got anything else to update you on. I'm gonna go and do some more editing now. Hello everybody, it's me. It is currently five to nine on Wednesday the 6th of March, April. Um, I'm still having problems with my bathroom. In fact, there's literally a layer of shit on the floor now. I had 
drain cleaners over earlier um, they told me to call Thames Water because they said the fault wasn't on the property Thames Water have had a look said the fault must be on the property so basically we've investigated all the property and all outside and there's no blockage anywhere the guy put 10 meters of hose down my toilet no blockage down there and yet there is still a blockage nobody listened to me though I think that I think it goes the other way. I think there's a blockage under the shower, but they said, no, the shower, it goes shower into the sink and then into the toilet that way. But I think it goes the other way. Um, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I had to pay £300 for the guy who came out today and he didn't fix it. Um, I've now had three people come round to take a look at it. None of them have been able to fix it. None of them even have a suggestion. Um, so I've got to try and get a plumber out, which I isn't going to happen until tomorrow now and hopefully I don't have to spend another 300 pounds and get nothing out of it if the plumber can't fix it basically the entire bathroom needs gutting and a new waste pipe needs going in which is going to be thousands of pounds which I just don't have I did my tax return today as well so I found out how much tax I owe which is a lot um, not as much as the bathroom would cost though to be fair but we're still talking a lot of money we're talking to fix the bathroom and to pay my taxes is not far off a year's salary so there's that. Uh, I've been continuing to read Sandworms of June. I'm now about 40 pages from the end. I didn't get a new book in the post today and I will definitely finish this before the post comes tomorrow. So that means I'm going to switch over to that Stephen Fry paperweight book. Although luckily about 150, 160 pages left of that. So it's not too bad. I don't know if I'll do a jog later. We might do. I'll see. Um, and I'm just trying to be productive. I've had three phone calls today and I've got another one later and then two tomorrow I think how many tomorrow let's have a look and when are they more to the point Biggie you're right in the way you're right in the way all right I've got to call at noon tomorrow and at 7 p.m. tomorrow and then one at 6 p.m. on Friday oh noon that's a pisser I don't really want to do that I'm not gonna have much sleep I don't think I suppose to be fair I do need to get up at 9 a.m to call the plumber so I might get up at nine do this call and then go back to bed we'll see oh, we'll see yeah just all everything is all quite stressful at the moment hello it is me uh, it is Thursday 25 to 6 uh, the 7th oh hello hello I mean I guess so it's, it's just it's literally been an ongoing problem since Monday so I've not had any toilet or showers or anything working since Monday so I'm just sort of struggling a little bit here, but if if tomorrow morning is the earliest you can do, then you know that that'll have to do. Okay, thank you. Cheers. Bye bye. Well, as you can tell from that, that's not good news. So my toilet still isn't fixed. I've now had three different people have come out to it. I rang 16 companies today. Four I didn't get through to. Um, 11 of them said they couldn't do anything um, some of those they could but not until June and then that's the people I used before they were supposed to come out this evening they've just rescheduled for tomorrow morning so it's another day without to a flushing toilet or a working shower um, and I smell like really bad I'm sorry for the details but what am I gonna do like where can I go I, I got nowhere to go <sighs> And it's costing me a fucking fortune. It's going to cost me 200 quid just to get these people out who might not be able to fix it. Anyway, I finished reading that June book I was reading. It was a four out of five. I moved on to Paperweight by Stephen Fry. I made a good dent in that. I've got about 60 pages left. But I've moved that back to my bedtime book now because in the post today, I got the next June book, Paul of June, the epic sequel to June. So I started reading that. It's okay. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm pretty pissed off about those fucking plumbers, to be honest. Great. I, I just don't know what to do. Everyone's fucking me around. Like, the people who came around first, the guy, he tried to reschedule for the next day because his thing was broken. And then his thing was still broken, so they sent somebody else, and that, that just took ages. It's just I'm paying a fortune for people to dick me around and to not fix it. And it it's just really depressing, because in the meantime, I'm literally elbows deep in shit. Like, the only way I can go to the toilet, I can't flush it, so I'm pissing and shitting on piss and shit, and the only way I can even get to that is to wade through sewage. <sighs> like, I'm, I'm worried I'm going to get cholera or something, or dysentery, like, it's literally that bad. <sighs> anyway, 
cheerful update for you. The joys of home ownership, eh? Oh, it's twenty. It's five past eleven on Friday, the eighth of April. I had another company around to look at my drains today. Charge another hundred and eighty quid. Didn't get anywhere. We've come to the conclusion that basically the pipe itself is fucked. I've just found a company here that I think can do it because they do drain excavation, uh, drainage installation, drain replacement, and I think the drain needs replacing. The problem is, where my bathroom is, the other side of that wall where the drain goes out, concrete set of steps, and it seems as though we're going to have to demolish the concrete steps to be able to get in to to do the pipe I, d I don't even know um so we're looking at it's going to cost thousands of pounds probably about five thousand pounds um, my granddad said he's going to give me the money for it which bless him but he shouldn't have to like i have to keep taking money from him because things keep going wrong and he has to keep paying for them i mean i don't really know there's nothing else to do though we've done everything we can now um I've had a go at the shower as well in case that helped, but no, I've cleaned up most of the sewage now, so there is at least that, but it's fucking... I had a bath in the kitchen today because I have this portable bath. Um, so I had that in the kitchen, but then it overflowed and leaked in the kitchen, but at least that's just bath water. So it's better than sewage. So now I have sewage all over my bathroom, bath water all over my kitchen. As you can tell, I'm thrilled. So, so far... I've spent about five, six hundred pounds and it's looking at I'm going to have to spend a, a total of about ten times that. Um, and also I've got my tax bill which is about thirteen thousand pounds owed in January. So by January I'm going to have to find eighteen thousand pounds. Which is about as much as I make in total in about eight months. Maybe a little bit less, maybe six or seven months at the moment. Uh, on the plus side, I have done loads of work for one particular client, so I've earned, I've basically earned back the amount of money I've spent on plumbers this week. Um, but that's about it. I've got my root canal next Monday, which that's going to cost me another 500 quid. And I still have to get the fences repaired as well, although obviously that's much lower priority to me now, so I'm just going to let the, the neighbour crack on with that and we'll see how we get on. I have been reading some more of Paul of June. I'm slightly over halfway through now. It's pretty good. I am enjoying it. I've had six, so with this client, this US client, I've had six one-on-one -on -one sort of author coaching calls, two Q and A's and a team meeting. And I've got another one-on-one -on -one at 1 p.m. tomorrow. And then the rest of the weekend is my own. But really, I just need to be working on other clients to at least make a little bit of money, you know? Um, I have found this, so I'm gonna approach this company. I'm gonna drop them a message and ask them if they can give me a call tomorrow afternoon after two, because I'll be awake then. Um, we'll see what they say. And uh, that's where I'm at. I'm all pretty much up to date with my editing. I'm gonna do some more now. Oh, I also have filmed a masterclass for this one client, so I need to edit that as well. But I mean, again, I get, I'm getting paid to edit a video basically, so that's all right. Um, and I'm gonna go and do my little bit of review for this as well. And then I guess I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Hello, it is me. Oh God, I'm trying to get comfortable and it's backfired. What time is it? It is 20 past eight on Saturday the 9th of April. Um, I slept okay last night and then I woke up. I had a call at 1 p.m. So I basically woke up and went straight into this call. Fortunately, I don't have anything till Tuesday now. Um, so tomorrow, no calls tomorrow. Monday, I'm getting my root canal. So obviously, obviously got nothing then. And then we're back to Call City as of Tuesday. Um, but it's nice to know that I don't have to do a call tomorrow. And also, I mean, that means I can just sleep until I wake up naturally. I don't have to set an alarm. Um, also, because I've done so much work on this other client, basically I break my work into timed and untimed. And I've done loads of the timed work, which means I'm only having to do untimed work at the moment. Which basically kind of shortens the length of my like productivity loops and means I can spend more time tidying and writing and doing this and that. So I did a little bit more stuff out in the garden earlier, um, so that was productive. I changed my guitar strings, although I'm currently wearing a plaster. Basically when I was picking up the old strings, I jabbed myself on one of them and I cut myself, so that's kind of annoying. But I changed it on that back guitar, that one there. Uh, it's my uh, semi-acoustic, so I was playing that earlier, which was fun. I've done 
my sort of editing bits and bobs for today. Um, so now I'm just doing a little bit of filming to catch up on that. And otherwise, you know, just cracking on with being productive. Um, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do about my bathroom. I'm, I'm trying to see whether the water level kind of decreases in there. It seems to be going down, but very, very slowly. Um, I still need to get a quote to get it fixed, to be honest. But yeah, in the meantime, I'm trying to give it a bit of a clean. I put some bleach down earlier. Um, and I've ordered like a camping toilet that I can use as a makeshift solution. I can have baths in my kitchen because I've got this portable bath. But it's just not really how you want to live, is it? But uh, hey ho. Uh, oh, I finished reading last night Paperweight by Stephen Fry. It's down there. I gave it a 2 out of 5. Um, there were occasional interesting bits, but mostly it was just quite dull. Um, and I just don't really get on with his writing style. I used to, so I guess something's changed there. But yeah, I finished that off. So my next bedtime book will be, uh, what's it called? That Richard Dawkins one. I've mentioned it a few times. Um, and I'm also reading Paul of June. Wherever it is, it's down here. I've almost finished it now. On course, like 3.5 out of 5. There you go, you can see how far I'm in. So that's all i got left. Um, the problem with it for me is that it keeps jumping between past and present. And I think it would have been better just to do those as two separate books. Um, and also, I don't really like Paul Atreides. I mean, luckily Duncan Idaho's in this. And Duncan's my man, you know. But I, don't, I never really cared for Paul. Which I think was why I sort of slowly eased into the Dune series. Then it got to the books after Paul, and then that's when I really sort of got a bit more interested. But yeah, going to finish that off, and then I have The Winds of June, um, which is kind of an accompanying book for that. And then after that, there's only three more June books remaining. I've got one of them on their way out to me. I've also got some um, uh, James Herbert books on their way to me as well. I think five of them, and I might have read one or two of them, but the others will be news to me, so that would be good when I get those. Um, and then my next book, I need to get the next Oz book for the buddy reads I'm doing with Joel Swagman. So we're continuing on after L. Frank Baum's death because we've read all of his ones now. Um, and we're just gonna keep doing one every two weeks. So got to order that. I also really need a shave, but obviously with the bathroom situation, I haven't got round to it. I don't really know how I'm gonna shave. I guess I am just gonna have to shave in the sink in the bathroom because I need somewhere with a mirror. I don't know, we'll see. Yo, it's me, hello. It is half past 10 on Sunday the 10th of um, April. My face looks shiny under there. If I don't look very well, it's because I've been quite anxious today. Um, well, specifically this evening, I've been trying to clean up the mess in the bathroom, so I put a load of bleach down, and my house just smells like a swimming pool, and I was getting like very lightheaded and stuff. I had to go for a walk outside. And a little bit worried about Biggie, but he seems to be coping better than I am. Uh, we've had the windows and doors open and stuff. It's got a little bit better now, but I still just feel pretty rough. I also have my root canal tomorrow, so I think that's probably not helped with my anxiety as well. And I just haven't had a break for a long time, so I'm just working lots of overtime. Um, I have at least got most of my stuff done on my to-do list now. So, like, tidying-wise, I've got to finish the washing up. And then I've got my journal to type up, and that's it. The only other thing is to have a shower, but I don't have a shower. So I can only really have a bath, um, which I'm probably not going to get time to do tonight. Because um, it just makes a mess. It like leaks all over my kitchen because it's a portable bath. But it's the only option I have at the moment because the bathroom's out of commission. So I can kind of, basically I fill it up from the kitchen tap. And then I have to like bail out the bath with like a saucepan until I've got most of it out. And then I just try and get the rest of the water out without causing too much of a problem. Um, my hair, head is itchy as well, because um, I get quite dry skin. So yeah, but I guess I'll have to have a bath tomorrow when I get back from the dentist. I might have one in the morning if I have time in the morning, we'll see. Because um, I'm probably going to go to bed at midnight and then get up relatively early. And the good thing is I don't have any calls tomorrow. So, and the dentist isn't until 4pm, so I can kind of take it easy-ish. I mean, obviously I will be working. Um, but yeah, my computer to-do list is down to 9, my writing is down to 9, my tidying is down to 23, but a lot of those are like future things anyway. So it could be a lot worse. So I'm going to crack on with that till about midnight and then go to bed and read my Richard Dawkins book, which is my new bedtime book. Um, I'm watching Peep Show. I'm actually currently watching And Then There Were None from 1945. Uh, there's a channel I watch called Classic Movies from the Golden Age and they've uploaded it to their YouTube channel, so I'm just watching that. Uh, I finished reading Paul of June, it was like a 3.5 out of 5. It was okay, 
Um, it wasn't brilliant. I mean, the issue was, right, it did a lot of jumping backwards and forwards through time. And it, I think it would have been better if it had just treated that as two separate books. And also, I've just never been that interested in Paul as a character. I'm now reading The Winds of Dune, and this comes between Dune Messiah and God Emperor of Dune, I believe. Um, so, Paul Atreides has disappeared into the sands of Dune, and we're kind of watching the other characters now and seeing how they react to it. It's okay. This is the book that I've had for like a year, and I've been reading through all of the other Dune books to get to this point so that I can then tick this off. Um, and so after this, there's only three more Dune books remaining, and I have one of them coming to me. In terms of my currently reading, I think I'm only on five at the moment. Am I on five? Let's have a quick look. I have won this um, James Herbert job lot on eBay as well. So when that arrives, I'll have some new ones to add to my list. Don't know, is Goodreads gonna load? Yeah, so Sisterhood of Dune is on its way. I'm winning a bid for four Sophie Hanna books as well. She wrote the new Agatha Christie books. And she's also a kind of accomplished crime novelist in her own right as well. Um, so I'm just keen to, to read more of her basically, so we'll see if I win that. And yeah, the James Herbert books I've got coming are Once, Shrine, Creed, The Magic Cottage and Moon. Um, and I've read Shrine but I haven't read the other four, so that'll be another four books. Possibly another eight with these Sophie Hannas. Uh, yeah, and I'm currently on five currently reading, so even if I win all of those and get the book that's on its way, I'm still gonna, only going to be on 14 currently reading. Um, and obviously I'll still be reading stuff in the meantime. And my goal is to try and stay below 10. But 5 is cutting it very fine. I've, this is my last main book. I'm on my last bedtime book. And then I've got 3 audio books on the go. Um, so we'll see. Because I might end up not even listening to those audio books. I don't know. But yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm going to love you and leave you now because this is the end of another vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.